Hey tech enthusiasts, we've got some courtroom drama to discuss today, starring none other than Indava PLC, the London-based IT juggernaut that's listed on the NISE under the ticker DAVA. So grab your popcorn as we dive into some serious legal wrangling that's underway over at Indava HQ. First up, it looks like Indava is caught in a legal whirlwind, facing a couple of beefy class action lawsuits. The prominent law firms Bronstein, Jewerts & Grossman LLC and Bernstein Liebard LLP have put out an open call to investors who might have taken a financial hit from their Indava investments. If that sounds like you, lawyers are lining up to represent you faster than a Tesla in a drag race. Here's the lowdown. The lawsuits allege that Indava made some major missteps by failing to report declining demand for their services. Now, had they kept quiet about small office gossip, that would have been manageable, but the quantities they're suspected of suppressing have investors seeing red. Not the kind of in the red that Wall Street frowns upon, but rather it has them reaching out to their lawyers. Apparently, the trouble brewed in two pivotal sectors of Indava's business, the payments and financial services and the banking and capital markets verticals. The claim is that demand slipped significantly in these areas, leading to project delays and cancellations that were suspiciously missing from the cheerful reports Indava was giving the public. Not surprisingly, this had an adverse effect on their revenue and earnings forecasts for fiscal years 2023 and 2024. Investors who jumped on the Indava bandwagon between May 23, 2023 and February 28, 2024 may now be eligible to file as part of these class action suits. Both Bronstein, Gewirtz and Grossman and Bernstein Liebhard have set an important date, October 25, 2024. That's the deadline for investors to scramble for those lead plaintiff positions. Pro tip, being a lead plaintiff means you're the star of the class action show, directing the ominously titled litigation. But don't fret if courtroom showbiz isn't your style, your chance to pocket any recovery doesn't require taking the lead charge. What's interesting is that both law firms are operating on a contingency basis, meaning they don't get paid unless they win and recover from successes. Think of it as no win, no fee, but with a courtroom twist. It's almost like watching a heist movie where if they pull off the grand jackpot, everyone gets a share, minus the legal cut. Whether you're an investor gearing up for a legal showdown or a mere spectator of this unfolding saga, it's going to be intriguing to see how things shake out for Indava and their shareholders. More at 11, stay tuned and keep those headlines refreshed. Thanks for watching to the end. Remember, this is just one story from our full daily show, which includes all the other news and an analysis of the day's tech market activity. If you found this video interesting or insightful, then please like, subscribe, and share it with others. Your support is greatly appreciated. Catch you later.